Good morning. It is a beautiful 61 degrees out here. Perfect time to sit out on the screened in patio. Man, I really enjoy sitting out here early in the mornings. Not so much in the afternoon, but I do sit in here quite often. Yeah. Well, I didn't get get a video out yesterday. Kind of had to get up real early. Had a, had a big day. Had to go to an appointment. Uh, what I was talking about the other day... <laughs> I said I might have something interesting well that kind of fell through that's why you know I don't call them beans because it hadn't happened and I didn't know for sure if it was going to happen now if it was something I knew was going to happen then it would be beans but the other day I think it was Friday uh, I got an email you know I always keep an eye on properties around here uh, just in case and one property came up that I was very interested in. Uh, very low price. I'm sure it needed work. It did need work. But it was about a quarter of a mile from where I used to work at the ranch. Beautiful area. Mountain views on both sides like here. Only bigger ones. But it was secluded. There was nobody around it. And I drove by this place, I don't know, hundreds and hundreds, thousands of times. And it was a three bedroom. Oh, Waddles is up. Three bedroom, one bath. It had about an acre. I don't want any more than that. Trust me. If you've got more than an acre, you don't want any more. It's too much work. This is too much work here. But I'm not looking. But it was one of them things that, man, you know, the price, it was $34,000. Yeah, it looked to me like it just needed, the car, The pictures were awful. I'll put a picture up here, one somewhere if I forgot last time I said I was going to do that but uh you know man I went as far as got pre-approved and somebody had already bought it that's the way it is here somebody from out of state put a bid on it you know you just can't you just so hell with it I, I give up uh I wasn't looking but if I find something that's a better situation or cheap you know, I would go sell this place, but hey, man, buy a house for 30, you know, I, I did that with this place, bought this place cheap, fixed it up, but yep, it's under contract now, not by me, you just, you can't get a hold of anybody around here, it takes forever, and by the time you do, somebody's already laid the cash out, so, but that's, uh, I would have definitely moved for that place. Uh, just for the location alone. It was about 10 miles from the Oklahoma border. Uh, not far. But, you know, everything else would be just as far away as it is where I live now. But we'll stay content here. Uh, I have had plans in the past to add on an addition, another addition to the cabin on the side over here i don't need understand what i'm talking about the house goes up like this off to the side you could probably hope put two or three bedrooms with an addition there it's a nice level spot of land you know that's something i may consider in the future for more room uh, but i mean how, how much room does anybody need really it's just me so but sometimes, you know, those things pop up and you get a wild idea in your head and it may not be the wisest decision, but life has a way, if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be, and that was not meant to be. You know, what would I do with this place? I, I'm not somebody that's going to rent. I'm not going to rent to people because you can't trust people today. They're going to tear your stuff up. It ain't their stuff. They're going to tear it up. Don't care how old they are. So I didn't want to do that. I'm not going to do the bed and breakfast thing, you know. You got to have the place tip top and you got to clean and all that. Yeah, everybody's doing that bed and breakfast. I don't do what everybody do. They ain't figured that out by now. Anyway, uh, today I don't really have any big plans. I got my machine in the mail yesterday or UPS to 
do my sleep test here at home i was expecting some big old box man it's just a little envelope with a little bitty machine in it you know with some contraptions to, but i don't know if i'm supposed to wait the guy's supposed to call me tomorrow i guess i'm supposed to wait till he calls to talk me through how to doing it doesn't look too difficult but so i'll have to do that but you gotta sleep for six hours man that's gonna be rough because i don't sleep six hours he said you can wake up go to the bathroom you can be awake some of it just you gotta leave the machine on it has a little box you strap around you goes here and i guess you got something to put on your finger i don't know maybe i'll record that on time lapse what do y'all think that'd be a good video i don't know i'll, I'll probably record it just for, hey, for proof that I did it. Uh, what did I do yesterday? Yeah, I had to go get an exam on my back and my knees, and those are pathetic. So um, I'm trying to get a higher rating on it with the VA. Um, trying to get up to 100%, and that doctor says this will get you there. So, you know, that's, that's a big thing, getting a 100% rating. Um, a whole lot more money but it's you get a lot more benefits to it and you know i fought social security for six years six years went to federal court lost that case started the whole thing over again it was another three years uh and then finally i had enough medical evidence to win it with va you have to have service connected disabilities already in place or you know you got to have the the medical records in your military file well the issue with that is i don't know about other branches of service but it is frowned upon it is frowned upon to go to sick call when you're on active duty um, because you're going to miss training especially if you're in training for uh, some kind of a mos you don't want to miss one day if you miss one day you get washed back I do remember a situation. Uh, I went to Chanute Air Force Base for firefighter training. I was in my fourth week of training, and that was the day we had to go through the smokehouse. And what it is, is they blindfold you, and you have to enter a house filled with smoke and get a 250 pound dummy and drag it out. Blindfold, you know, blind. Um, and. I had to get an I had an ear infection. I had to go to the hospital. And so they washed me back for that whole week. I had to repeat that week to do that whole week over, you know, because of that, because I missed that one critical day. So a lot of people really have to fight to prove that they're service connected. Um, so what I what you have to do, I've got service connection for my feet and i've got a service connection for my hearing for tinnitus and you have to do secondary claims to that for your back your knees because i was diagnosed actually that is in the military records that i when i first enlisted i did not have it in my second re-enlistment i had it so it was service connected so i can connect that to the bad knees to the bad back which legitimately is probably why my back and my knees and my hips are bad because of my feet if your feet aren't normal well, that puts stress on the other parts of your body and over you know and you're not going to see that happen for many years um, but you can service connect that and the ratings for back and knees are much much higher so that should put me well over a hundred percent and been a lot, lot of years uh, coming, man. A lot of years coming, and that's just what I got to do. So I got a, I got the medical or the exam part done yesterday. That went very well. So now I just got to go get the X-rays and ver, you know, verify it, which it will, because I have MRIs of knees and my back that show all kinds of issues. So. They, I got to say this, man, the VA is on top of stuff. Um, the first claim I put in took a year and a half. Took a year and a half, and then once they were on it, you know, they, just in within days. And it wouldn't surprise me if I go Thursday 
and by Friday they've already made their decision and money's in the bank you know that's how quick they operate so I can't say anything bad about them uh, I don't know what the holdup was in the beginning but it's, you just get on a waiting list and you know you're, the order they get them I guess but I think once you're already service connected then in, any other claims you put in go go pretty fast but so that's what's going on with that boring stuff but you know you got to do what you got to do and then hopefully all these doctors and you know, all the tests and all that will be over with and then it's just routine doctor visits from here on out but i gotta go to the bathroom this water running over here man uh, somebody asked the other day about the fireplace software. It's not software guys. You can get on YouTube. This is YouTube Get on YouTube any scene you want you want to you want a forest scene with water you want a Beach scene they got them. They'll, they're they're eight to ten hour videos. You can put them on go to sleep with them I use them a lot So that's where I got that in case anybody's asking uh let's see what i gotta do today i'm gonna cook a tri-tip on that new blackstone grill got a tri-tip steak it's a big old steak i've only found them in the store twice here and i saw one the other day and bought it and this i think what i'm gonna do is on the grill side since it's a gas grill i wish i, st I i'm still gonna get another smoker uh but i'm gonna put the i'm gonna put it on high i'm gonna Put it on one side for a few minutes, the other side for a few minutes, then I'm going to wrap it in foil. Put the heat down to probably about 2, 250 degrees and let it cook for a while. And man, them tri-tips are good. Leave all that fat on there. It's good stuff. Helps it cook. So we'll see how that comes out. Maybe I'll get a video of that. So anyway, guys, that's, that's all I got for today. Uh, hope everybody has a good rest of the week uh don't have any plans for tomorrow so there should be a video tomorrow i almost put one up last night when i got home but i was so busy I, the phone just kept going oh man when you when you inquire on a property people are calling you every 15 minutes it's going to take weeks to get that to stop now they're going well that one fell through do you want to get you want to look at this one no you know, it was just a, a freak thing. It came up. I wasn't looking. I still ain't looking. Uh, I still got a lot of work to do on this place. Uh, I want this place, every little detail done before I even consider that. But that is something I may do in the next 10 years. Is get rid of this place and get something a little more easier to maintain on flat ground. But I'd like, you know, it, and the nice thing about that house is it had a full fenced yard, chain link fence, all the way around the front, then a separate fenced in yard all the way around the back. So I could have had Waldo and Lily in one, uh, Tilly and Millie in the other, and had a two car garage. Uh, it also had a shop back there, which they didn't, they took terrible pictures. Uh, but like I said, it, there's so many people looking, you know, a lot of people will get upset with me because I get angry and talk about people moving here. Well, you know, you, you ruined your state. Now you're going to descend on other states and make, you know, it's going to be the same problem everywhere. But that's how it is. Nothing I can do about it. Nobody's getting moving in next to me, that's for sure. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Enough of my ranting. Happy trails.